Plastic pollution is one of the most serious dangers to the health of the world's oceans. Sea turtles, whales, seabirds, fish, coral reefs, and countless other marine species and habitats are all affected by plastic waste. More than half the world's marine turtles and nearly every seabird have ingested plastic at some point in their lives. Plastic that enters the water may sink or break down into small particles, resulting in very low-quality material recovered from the ocean. The majority of people are unaware of the basic facts regarding ocean plastic pollution and measures that anyone may do to help minimize this serious issue. Following are a few of the things you can do to save oceans. Recycling Only 9% of plastic gets recycled globally at the moment, so it should go without saying that you should always use plastics that can be recycled. Recycling keeps plastic out of the water and limits the amount of new plastic on the market. There are many sites in every major city that recycles the plastic properly and make it reusable. River Cleanup Participate in a beach or waterway cleanup to help remove plastics from the ocean and prevent them from entering in the first place. One of the most direct and satisfying methods to combat ocean plastic waste is to volunteer. You can travel to the beach or a river on your own or with friends and family to collect plastic garbage. Or you can participate in a local cleanup or an international event. Avoid products with microbeads. In recent years, microbeads have become an increasing source of ocean plastic pollution. Microbeads can be found in a variety of face scrubs, toothpastes, and body washes and can easily make their way into our seas and streams through sewer systems, posing a threat to hundreds of marine species. Look for polyethylene and polypropylene on the ingredient labels of your cosmetic goods to avoid those with plastic microbeads. Raise awareness. Inform people on the state of the world's oceans and what they can do to help you make a difference. Most people are unaware that this is a problem that has to be addressed immediately. You must spread the word about petitions, share fun facts, and join the conversation with all the individuals you deal with through various social media platforms. Demand plastic-free alternatives. We must all push companies to offer plastic-free alternatives to single-use plastics like straws, plastic cutlery, coffee cups, water bottles, plastic bags, balloons, plastic-wrapped fruit, and takeout food containers. Avoid ocean-harming products. Many items have been related to the extinction of endangered or threatened species, as well as irresponsible fishing methods and pollution. Avoid cosmetics containing shark squalene, coral or sea turtle shell jewelry, souvenir conch, nautilus, and other animal shells, and single-use plastics like straws and water bottles that might wind up in our seas. These items encourage unsustainable fishing and put vital species and ecosystems at risk. Single-use plastics Reduce your own use of single-use plastics. This is the simplest and most straightforward way to get started, regardless of where you live. Plastic bags, water bottles, straws, cups, cutlery, dry cleaning bags, takeout containers, and other single-use plastics are all examples of single-use plastics. The best approach to achieve this is to refuse any unnecessary single-use plastics. Reduce your carbon footprint. Our waters are becoming increasingly acidic as a result of carbon dioxide, which is a recognizable greenhouse gas. This is contributing to the global loss of corals as the increased acidity of the water weakens their calcium skeletons. You can lower your carbon footprint by doing simple things like riding a bike, walking, or taking public transportation instead of driving. Instead of turning up the thermostat, put on a sweatshirt in the cold and turn off the lights when you leave a room. Wild seafood collected sustainably is a renewable resource that takes little fresh water to produce and emits less carbon dioxide than land-based foods like beef. So instead of using beef, try using that. Play your part. As the number of people visiting the beach grows, so does the amount of rubbish left behind or blown away. Don't contribute to the degradation of our oceans by spending your day outside. Remember to leave only your footprints behind and to gather and dispose of your rubbish. Keep up to date on problems relating to plastic pollution and help others become aware of the issue. Inform your friends and family about how they can help or arrange a watching party for one of the many documentaries about plastic pollution. These suggestions just scratch the surface of what you can do to help combat the growing problem of ocean plastic pollution. 
What matters is that we all do something, no matter how small it is. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified of our next video. And I'll see you in the next one.